All right, so question eight, we're given a uh, figure one, which shows a sketch of part of a curve with the equation y equals f of x. Shows that it's got a maximum at negative two, five, and an asymptote at y equals two, one, shown in the figure. On separate diagrams, sketch the curve with the equation. Part A, y equals f of x plus two. All right, so this is all about transformations of functions. Okay, so a quick sketch. Like so. And this is part A. All right, so what is this type of function when we add something onto a function? Hopefully you remember. Um, when we add something on to f of x and it's outside, that is going to shift everything or shift the graph up two values. So it's going to shift the graph up two values. So it's a it's going to still go like that. I'm not particularly good at sketching on these on this tablet, but we'll get the idea out there. Um, now, if it's shifted up two values, the x value of the maximum is not going to change, but the y value is. The y value is no longer going to be negative 2, 5. It's now going to be negative 2, 7. Now, I'm going to actually, I'm going to have one more crack at sketching this a little bit better. So, it's going to come up, and then it's got to start to dip and then kind of head in that direction like so something like that um not ideal but uh like i said negative two and seven and then the other thing i need to put in this is the asymptote where or where has the asymptote gone well the asymptote i'm gonna move it down a little bit just so that we can see that this graph shouldn't touch it now, the asymptote, um, which was y equals 1, would have also shifted as well. The asymptote should now be y equals 3. So the asymptote is y equals 3. Okay, in part B now, we're asked to sketch y equals 4x squared. So part B. Uh, y equals 4x squared, so we got, basically it's a times fx, what happens here? Um, strange things to my Mac, let's have a look at that again. Uh, y equals 4 times f of x. So, what does that do? When we put a number outside of f of x, that's going to be a stretch. So, it's a stretch in a vertical direction. To stretch in a vertical direction by a scale factor of four. Okay, so what we end up with, oh, when we do our little sketch, is similar shape, only this time. The maximum is no longer negative 2, 7, or negative 2, what was it before? Negative 2, 5. It's four times higher. It's now negative 2, 20. So that's now negative 2, 20, and our asymptote has been um, scaled up by a factor of 4. Instead of y equals 1, it's now going to be y equals y equals four i'm going to bring this guy down just to demonstrate there's our asymptote y equals four now so that's also been stretched up by a scale factor four and then the last part is to um show y equals f of x plus one so what's going to happen here y equals f of x plus one now, when we've got, when we're adding or subtracting and we're inside of f of x, that is a horizontal translation by a scale factor of 
minus a so if it says f of x plus one that means move it to the left move everything to the left by one right so when we move it to the left by one let's have a look see what we're going to get now the original y coordinate was uh, was five it's still going to be five even though it's moved to the left it's still going to be five but but it won't be at negative two So up and something like that. I'm getting worse at this. Um, right, instead of negative two, it's moved back one, so it's now negative three, but it still goes up as high as five. And the asymptote, in this case, we've only shifted everything left or right, so the asymptote ain't gonna move. The asymptote is gonna be at y equals uh, one like it was earlier and um, we were asked to show clearly the coordinates of the maximum point which we have done and the equation of the asymptote which we have done we should be okay and um, let's just have a quick look at the marks game there we go there and uh, you can see that my answers match what we had and if you want to have a read do go for the correct shape now my um, sketching is not ideal on the computer here but you can see from the solutions right uh, what did the examiner say? Lots of good solutions, many good solutions to all three parts. Um, any other issues? Right, common to think that the asymptote y equals 1 is unchanged when we uh, stretch. But we've got to be careful that it is going to be changed when we stretch in a horizontal direction. Almost all con candidates had some success in producing sketches of the correct general shape. Um, so often the asymptote, the concept of the asymptote is a problem. Yeah, an asymptote is an uh, imaginary line where the graph or the function is undefined, where it does not have any solutions.